News Center 25's David Gibson spoke to several residents and joins us now live with what he learned. Is that right, David? Just in the few hours that I've been gone, VPD has already installed a new speed sign with your radar to see your speed and Brogger asked that residents have patience while they work to fix this issue. That's right, Official is teaching children with special needs the art of fishing. That's right, Lee. Andrea Stray says Domestic Violence Awareness Month means a lot to her now because she lost her daughter back in 2016. I'm standing right here where the car went crashing through the church and as you look right now it looks pretty nice but the recovery process is slowly moving forward but I'm about to put the goggles on to show me impaired and oh it's a big difference and I'm all over the road right now I, I don't know what I'm doing oh snap I'm almost wrecked this this is crazy so please don't drink and drive Crossroads, if you're gonna have any fun in the sun this Memorial Day weekend, you need to remember this. Welcome back, the Astros and Rangers in action this Easter afternoon. James, I'm at the Victoria Regional Airport on this windy day where the Texas Mile is about to speed off. That's right, Lee, just in between my two live shots, I've seen drivers speed down, hands them in road, and I can see why one resident is concerned about her safety. Welcome back, UHV Ladies Golf completed their final round in the Sooner Athletic Conference Championship in Oklahoma City. It's Friday Night Football in the land of the leather as 10th rate Yoakum hosts Needville. It's now time for the play of the week where we choose the best play we saw this week. The honor goes to the Houston Rockets. They begin their playoff journey tonight against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now it's time for the play of the week where we choose the best play we saw this week. We're going back to the NBA playoff. Guys, many people are probably enjoying vacation at the beach right now, but those that had to stay home can enjoy staycation. Texas Tech facing Villanova with the winner going to the Final Four. I arrived at the Alamo gym where I saw families being reunited while other families were still worried about their loved ones. That's right, Lee, the United Methodist Army brings together churches throughout the state of Texas for a mission trip, and this year they decided to help with the Hurricane Harvey recovery. Doyle and Kylan Griffith of Industrial won the State 3A Girls Doubles Tennis Championship last month. It was day two of the city championship. Let's start with the ladies. Madison Lake is now in the lead at three under. That's right, Lee. Andrea Stray says Domestic Violence Awareness Month means a lot to her now because she lost her daughter back in 2016. God has you in his arms. I'll always have you in my heart. Andrea Stray remembers her daughter Demetra every day when she reads the words on the wall in her hallway. All I have were memories and your picture in the frame. Demetra Stray was leaving home after giving her boyfriend their children on Christmas Day in 2016 when he shot and killed her. Demetra's parents were leaving Cuero to go visit family when their youngest daughter called them saying Demetra was dead. They rushed back to the house to try and see her again and police had already blocked off the scene. And they still wouldn't let me get to the vehicle. I said, Keeker, please. He said, he said, Miss Stray, it's too late. I said, well, can I just hold her? He said, no. I don't want you to see her like that. Her boyfriend then sped off driving 120 miles per hour before flipping and crashing the car with her children inside. Miss Stray says the children only suffered scrapes, and her grandson told her his mom was looking over them. He said, I wasn't scared. And they said, you weren't? He said, no. Mommy was sitting in the middle of us, and she was holding us back. So we knew at that time that Demetra was there protecting her boys. For some women, the signs are clear, but Stray says she didn't see any signs of domestic violence in her daughter's relationship. Did not see any type of physical um, signs of domestic violence at all. Um, but like I said, once again, she was protecting us. Um, Demetra always put others before herself, always, because she had such a big heart. Stray says she wants to put together an event to keep her daughter's name alive in October 2019. Do a, a walk um, to raise money for the the local shelter which would be in victoria so maybe we can combine victoria and quarrel together and do a walk in in demetra's uh, memory what advice would you give other women that are going through the same situation that your daughter went through get out of the situation talk to someone don't be silent don't think that you're protecting your family get out of the situation i can't stress that enough Quentin Darts was charged with murder, but Stray wants to know why he did this to her daughter, but she continues to spread awareness in hopes of saving another woman's life. In Quero, I'm David Gibson for your hometown news.
About every 20 minutes in Texas, someone is either hurt or killed in a car accident involving alcohol. I have more important things to spend my money on than, you know, $20 bottles of beer. Project Happy Hour is an event held by the University of Houston, Victoria, to bring awareness to college students about the dangers of driving while intoxicated. But the goal during this happy hour is to experience the dangers without the risk. Um, I just want them to learn the dangers and consequences of impaired driving and to just enjoy themselves. Project Happy Hour was designed around fun games and activities, a twist on the traditional game of musical chairs, where one student wears drunk goggles and the others were blindfolded. The blindfolds simulate the average driver who doesn't know someone is driving drunk. In this game, the drunk driver would have caused about two accidents. Oh my God, that was hard. <laughs> My knees hurt. The next activity was designed to see if students could walk a straight line. And sure, you think you're going in the right line because they're just goggles. You know they're goggles, but your body's not agreeing with you whatsoever. According to TexDOT, there were no deathless days on Texas roadways in 2016, which a quick tally means at least 365 deaths that year. You in the driver's seat simulator shows you how it feels to be driving while impaired. And right now I'm driving and I'm not impaired. And it's, it's, it's pretty easy, but I'm about to put the goggles on to show me impaired. And oh, it's a big difference. And I'm all over the road right now. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, snap, I almost wrecked. This, this is crazy. So please don't drink and drive. You know, or you think you know what you're doing when you're under the influence of alcohol, but really it's not that easy to maneuver whatever it is that you're trying to maneuver. And people are not knowing that you're driving drunk, so they're basically driving blind right into a potential catastrophe. The actual number of deaths in 2016 is 987 from DUI wrecks. So deaths can be dangerous when you're driving. The traditional games demonstrated how buzz driving is still drunk driving. And the message of Project Happy Hour is, if you think you can handle it, it's proof right here that you can. You're in college, alcohol is expensive, don't. UHV police tells me that a DWI can hit your pocketbooks pretty hard and the average legal cost for a DWI ranges from $5,000 to $24,000. So college students, please choose wisely because that could be an extra college semester. In Victoria, I'm David Gibson for your Hometown News. That's right, Lee. Just in between my two live shots, I've seen drivers speed down Hanselman Road, and I can see why one resident is concerned about her safety. Lori Padron has been living on Hanselman Road for about two years and is fearful of the speed in which people come off Loop 463 and onto her road. Traffic has just been coming through here, zooming by. Um, there was an incident one time where a guy was um, going pretty fast. He was on his cell phone almost hit me. He had to literally swerve to the other lane. Her concerns for safety are causing a change in her nightly routine of walking her dog. You know, I don't want to get hit, basically. And um, it's just there's a lot of people, they're not concerned. They just want to break the law and speed. And, it, you know, we just we need something done out here pretty much. Resident Lillian Arzaba lives on Hanselman Road and echoes Pardon's statements about cars speeding and being distracted. There's always people like swerving. I mean, there's like not a lot of kids out here, but there are, sometimes there's kids out here playing and the cars do really go by real fast. Both Padron and Arzava are brainstorming their own solution to this problem before the situation turns dire. Well, if they can lower the speed or maybe even if possible, put a sidewalk around here. Maybe more lights out here. It's real dark at night, you know, where people are walking at night and it's dangerous, you know, you don't see them. So I think, you know, having put more lights around here would help a lot better. I contacted VPD to see what officers can do to ensure the safety of residents. And Officer David Brogger told me first people need to call the police to make them aware of the issue so they can come up with the fix. Oh. I've contacted our traffic safety unit who is who will figure out the times and, and try to figure out the uh, the most opportune times that people are out here speeding or anything and they'll inundate the area with officers in hopes to get voluntary compliance. Um, should voluntary compliance not be the answer then of course citations can and will be issued. Brogger says VPD will be getting a radar sign to attach to the speed limit sign so drivers know how fast they are going. And luckily today, Perdon was able to walk her dog for the first time in two weeks, thanks to utility work on Hanselman Road. 
Just in the few hours that I've been gone, VPD has already installed the new speed sign with your radar to see your speed and Brogger asks that residents have patience while they work to fix this issue. In Victoria, I'm David Gibson for your hometown news. Hunters have gathered here to honor those lost and injured during the school shooting Friday morning. Community get through this day. Emotions ran high as the community came together following this terrible tragedy. First, I was kind of heartbroken and stuff, but to see the community coming together is kind of bringing everything back to pieces. For former student Chandler Hamilton, hearing the news of a school shooting broke his heart because he has a sister and friends who were on campus when shots rang out. I can say I was worried about my sister, my friends, you know, make sure all my my friends' family is okay. During the vigil, they prayed and held each other to comfort one another and show love. The vigil was especially hard for student Sierra Dean, who stayed home sick Friday. When I heard that there was a shooting, it was it broke my heart. Sierra fought back tears as she spoke about knowing someone who was shot. Yes, my um, best friend was shot in the side and he ran off. We don't know where he went, so hope and praying that he is still alive. With all the heartbreak, surrounding communities have stepped up to help Santa Fe. One group brought in some furry friends. We know that comfort dogs provide just that. They provide comfort for people in times of tragedy, in, time, in times of trauma. Petting a dog actually lowers a person's blood pressure and helps calm them down. Sierra wants to leave other communities with this message. Just stand, stand with us and help us with prayers and, and help and that helping us heal. While this town has been devastated by a school shooting, Friday evening's prayer vigil started the healing process for a heartbroken town. In Santa Fe, I'm David Gibson for your hometown news. The first VISD swim meet of the season going on Tuesday night at the VISD Aquatic Center for East, West, and El Campo. History made in this one, West girls and boys win the meet. That's the first time the Warrior girls have beaten El Campo in four years. West girls broke the school's 200 medal relay record. Christian Cervantes broke West's 200 freestyle record. And Vivian Shepard broke Warrior Girls records in the 200 IM and the 100 breaststroke. The West boys won the team score over East. Next Tuesday night at the Aquatic Center, East and West swimming take on Tuscaloosa Midway. I'm David Gibson reporting for your hometown sports.